Hello, church family, and welcome to Miracle Monday. We are so excited to be able to share the next few moments with you as we look at a powerful testimony of how God is working in and through the church. You know, we believe that we serve a miracle-working God, and we hope that you can be encouraged by these amazing stories of how the Holy Spirit is moving in people's lives today. Today, we're excited to have Russ DeVoe share with us his testimony of the transforming power of God. From depression and anxiety, to a full life in Christ. Let's take a listen. I'm sitting today with Russ DeVoe, who is one of our uh, newest family members at Family Christian Center. And uh, we just want to hear Russ's story. So Russ, would you tell us a little bit about your family and um, how did you, why did you move to Fort McMurray? I, yes, so firstly the family, I'm married to the lovely Val, who's my much better half, I always tell people. Uh, we have two children, one son Jason and his partner Jolene, they live back in Nova Scotia, and two grandchildren there, and a daughter Leah and her partner Kyle, and they're in Victoria, BC. And we came to Fort McMurray in, uh, I came late 2011, and Val came spring of 2012, I'd like everybody to find some work in the oil sands. Yeah, well. And as it worked out, it worked We're out. thankful that you're here. I am. Thank you so much. I am too. Tell us um, uh, how you encountered Christ and his miracle working power in your life. Yeah, so uh, I, in retrospect, I, f I see that God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus have had their hand on me my entire life, mm. uh, in retrospect. And I spend, uh, I really spend a good amount of time now being astonished at uh, at all of the good things that have been put in my path and in my family's path and in my life. You know, I, th I thank God now and the Holy Spirit and, and Jesus. I try to include the three names when I speak of them, the, the triple head kind of thing. So yeah, I, you know, I, sp I spend a lot of, I don't end, I, I don't, I never end marveling at the hand of God Mm -hmm. in my life now and continually I, I thank him for it and talk to him for it you know mm -hmm. yeah, I don't uh, I'm not much of one to get up at prayer or anything for example and expound upon that but in you know we all do things our own way and in my own way that's kind of I do that yeah yeah so you made your decision to follow Christ, like you told me about three years ago, right? Yes, yeah, so that that all uh, came about uh, through friends of ours back in Cape Breton. Uh, their name names are Tina and Darren Rideout. And so they were after, they were, they were uh, born again. And, okay. and they were after, after us, they invited us numerous times to go to church with them. And well, I just wasn't, the time wasn't right, you know, mm -hmm. as we all say. So eventually we did, we went, and, um, and it was just before uh, we were coming back to Fort McMurray after a period of time that I had been off for on long-term disability. It took me a little bit longer to, to get around to being, uh, accepting Jesus into my life, but I have, mm -hmm. and so, you know, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, like we just spoke a minute ago, I'm a babe in Jesus, mm -hmm. but, but I'm making strides, I think. Yes, I, yeah. That's kind of bold to say that, but. No, well, yeah. that's it. Yeah. We, you know, you spend time with God, you're growing, right? Yep. Yeah. Every day. Reading the every, Word. Yep, yeah, every day, yeah. 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 And so, um, any chance you could say, like, how your life changed from three, before three years ago to today? Yeah, I, uh, you know, just uh, as a person, I think, um, you know, kindness and courtesy and all of those moral things. When I was a kid, I believed that those things were instilled mm -hmm. in me through people. Well, they were, but ultimately they were instilled in all of us by God. Mm -hmm. it's those, so that's some of what I marvel at. So it's changed me in that respect. Uh, I suffered with uh, depression and anxiety, okay. uh, which is why we were home in 27 and 18. Mm -hmm. 17 and 18 mm -hmm. and uh, and I, I had some uh, difficult times and medication and so on and so forth uh, and and after I, I uh, accepted Jesus into my life I you know I, I just I cold turkey medication and I haven't looked back I'm, wow. 
I mean, I'm the same as the rest of us humans. I get, I have days and moments mm -hmm. and all of that stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's a, it's a bygone thing. Right, and you know the difference in your life. Oh, oh, well, my, you know, there was days when, when we were back in Cape Breton in 2017, you know, I, I looked for tree branches to fling myself off of. So, okay. so you know, I, you know, I've come a long way, baby, as they oh, say. Praise you know, the Lord. yeah, right, praise the Lord is right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So thank you, Russell, for coming in today. Thank you for I having me. I should say me. Russ, because you like Russ. And uh, we're, we're just, you know, glad to see and we watch you and we can tell that God is working in both you and Val's lives. And uh, we, we're so thankful that you are a part of Family Christian Center. Thank you.